The coolest boss in Outward has to go to the Ascendant Immaculate. It's just such a neat fight in my favorite boss arena. So for starters, it has 4500 health with 75% physical resist, 78% impact resist, and 30% weakness to lightning and 50% ethereal vulnerability. Either a spiritual varnish or the imbue light skill should be used for this fight, but it's up to personal preference. Imbue light is more effective as a skill, however it's weaker to ethereal so it balances out quite, easy, uh, quite evenly. You are able to apply burning to the immaculate but not poison or bleed as it's an immortal enemy. Its primary form of attacking is with its halberd, and it has several attack combinations that it can do. A running, spinning sweep can be countered by dodging backwards, so you're still in range, likewise with a quick forward double swing. Oftentimes for the upswing and sweep, I just step backwards as I'm normally out of range of it. As soon as you spot a backstep, you know, he'll punish with a slash and a double stab, so it's just best to stay out of that. Staff slams are easily telegraphed, but can hurt if you get hit by it. And lastly, the ethereal beam. I had a lot of trouble with this attack when I first learned the boss, but you can notice it early by the pink aura around his hand right before the attack. This is the perfect time to dodge to the side. Now, for the video. Immediately after entering the arena, I go to apply pain to the boss. Given his massive health pool, it's good to get as many debuffs on as early on as you can. Knowing the range of your weapon in this fight is very important, given that he will have re uh, reach on you. A quick parry sets up a good amount of damage, but however, I don't utilize that as well as I could because I wasn't within range. Parrying the Staff Slam is effective but a risky move. A better move is just to run backwards and do a running attack. Quick dodge and staying out of his reach is really important for staying alive in this fight. You can see coming up that he will do his beam attack. This should be coming in about 5 seconds. And right like that. See his hand light up? Perfect time to dodge out of the way. One of the most important parts of this fight is managing your stamina. Given his massive health pool and, you know, consider considerable damage resistances, it's really important to make sure that you don't run out of stamina. That actually ended a couple of my fights because of that. And one more hit and he will be done. And done. Good job.